Hey, what's up you guys? My name's Tyler Ruggie. Welcome to my vlog channel. Before we get into today's vlog, I wanted to unbox something really quick. I literally got this package like one or two days after I did my P.O. Box unboxing video. And I just didn't want to wait till my next video to open it and see what's inside. So yeah, I just wanted to open it really quick on camera. So this box came from Zoe from the channel Zoe's Rescue Zoo. She's another pet tuber, so I'd recommend you guys go check her out. I'll leave a link to her channel down below. And it was so nice of her. Thank you so much, Zoe. I really, really appreciate it. Whoa, there's confetti in here. It's cute, but it, it's gonna get all over my floor. Do I really care? No, my dad might, but sorry, dad. And her Instagram is Zoe's underscore rescue underscore zoo. So go give her a follow. So all right, right on top, we have a cup that says party on the patio. And then we have a bird toy. This is a small one, so I think it's for Mango. Really appreciate it. I like never can get enough bird toys because Mango destroys the heck out of them and I'm constantly getting new ones. So thank you for that. Oh my god, a forage fill. So this is another thing for the birds. Oh my god, yes! That's so cute. It's a tunnel. So this is really good for my hedgehog, Momo. I'm sure she will love this. There's actually two of them. Okay, so that one was a tunnel and this one is actually like a fleece hide. And then we have one of these guys. It's a squeaky toy. There's candy in here and they are all vegan. So thank you, Zoe. And we got a little bag. Let's see what's in there. Hopefully it's not drugs. Oh, wow. It looks like chicken feet or some kind of bird's feet. So it's basically drugs, okay? It's drugs for Nova. And I'm sure Nova will love them. So yeah, thanks again to Zoe's Rescue Zoo. Really appreciate it. Let's get into the vlog now. Hey, what's up, you guys? My name's Tyler Ruggy. So for today's video, it's the day after the last day of Playlist Live, and we are at Animal Kingdom. I've never been here before, so I'm pretty excited. Um, I'm exhausted because Playlist Live literally destroyed me, but yeah, I'm gonna be at Animal Kingdom today. And for anyone who's concerned about Animal Kingdom as far as, you know, how animals are treated in zoos and all that stuff, Animal Kingdom at Disney is actually like one of the best zoos around because Disney has so much money that they can provide literally the best shit for animals, what? I guess a lot of people who work with animals really want to try to work with Disney at Animal Kingdom. It's like a goal for a lot of people, but it's like really hard to get into here and like, I don't know, all their standards for their animals are very, very high and they do a lot of stuff for rehabbing and conservation. So I just wanted to throw that in there that I did do a lot of research on Animal Kingdom and it seemed like they are a very well respected like animal place so I'm comfortable with visiting it and you know I've never been here before so I just wanted to check it out and I thought it'd be fun I love animals it's on brand hope you guys enjoy my Animal Kingdom vlog and let's go check out Disney's Animal Kingdom oh yeah I'm here with Maddie she's back there you know whatever anyways <laughs> who is she hey what's up can we be friends? Yes? No? Oh, okay. Showdown. Flamingos. Flamingos. Nesting cavities. What do you think they would use in your home to grind those beets down? I heard it over here. Furniture. Yes, they love to chew on furniture. So we're going to show you with this chunk of wood what happens when you leave a parrot in your home for just a few moments. Oh, look at that. <laughs> okay, that was what, three to five seconds? Imagine you just left them in your home for an hour. Yeah, you're going to come home and your table's basically going to be on the floor. <laughs> We've heard that they've chewed holes in drywall, laptop computers. Basically, anything they can grab, they're going to destroy. So we do say, enjoy these beautiful birds, but do it in places like Animal Kingdom. Keep your home parrot-free. 
Sorry. And trust me, you will thank us later. Yeah. But despite all of the reason that they're such challenging pets, they're still being taken out of the wild for the illegal pet trade. Now that's having a very devastating effect on one species in particular, it's called the blue-throated macaw. It is estimated that there are less than 200 left in the wild. That's it, 200. Wouldn't you like to see skies filled with macaws? And look right on over here, because you're about to see it right now. Oh my god. these people came up to us and asked to take pictures for them so I did and they handed me a thank you card like what do you mean and it says it says in it I'm going to read it to you wow this is a good angle thank you for taking such fabulous photos and a smiley face amazing amazing wow so we just did the Avatar ride and it was lit. The, the line was supposed to be two hours, but it was only like one hour, so that was cool. I got this really cool drink with boba balls and they use a paper straw. Good for you, Disney. Not destroying the environment. I'm pleasantly surprised. Straws are a huge issue. So when you go get drinks places, get a reusable straw or don't use a straw or you know, get paper straws or something. Cause we go through like millions of straws every day and it's stupid cause they end up in the environment and they kill animals. So if you care about animals, yeah, good. Paper straws, wow. Anyways, <laughs> I'm just following Maddie cause she's vlogging over there. I'm gonna pick up everything you're saying. I'm gonna have to redo everything. If there's no sushi in Asian Animal Kingdom, I'm going to be disappointed and I'm going to ask for your manager.
Kompetitif banget.